Over here we have a cylinder. And how much paint do you need to paint this water tank if one gallon of paint covers 300 square feet? Now, if you think about painting this water tank, you are most likely not going to paint the bottom, right? You're going to paint this around it and then the top. So we're going to calculate that area and then check how much paint we need. And for the cylinder here, we have this face that goes around it and then we have the top to calculate. So let's take the area of the top or at the bottom either way. That's a circle here. And how did you calculate the area of a circle? Pi r squared. Pi r squared. Okay. So pi times radius squared. The radius here is 3 feet. Okay. And that is about 28.27 square feet. And now the side that wraps around it. Let me illustrate it. Okay, here I have a cylinder. It's a roll of tape. Imagining it is our water tank and we are wanting to know the surface area of this here, this wrapped around face, okay? It is actually, imagine you took tape, if you took a piece of tape that goes around here, it's a rectangle. So its area is easy to calculate as a rectangle. And the rectangle's height would be, of course, the height of the cylinder here, 8 feet. But what about the other dimension of the rectangle? It would be all the way around here. This length here is the other side of the rectangle, however long this is. That is, of course, the circumference of the circle. So the other area here we need to calculate would be a rectangle with height 8 feet and then the circumference of this circle. Circumference of a circle is calculated by pi times the diameter. So that would be pi times the 6 feet. So we have here 8 times 6 times pi, 48 times pi and that is 150.5. 796 square feet. And lastly, we add those two together. Area to be painted would be those two added together, and we get 179.1 square feet. Now, how much paint do we need? Okay, we need a fraction of a gallon. And to calculate what fraction of a gallon you need, you would take 179.1 divided by 300 and see what fraction we get or see what decimal we get. Okay, this ends up being about 60%, about 0 0.6. So you need about 60% of one gallon, a little over half a gallon. So you still probably want to just go ahead and buy one whole gallon of paint. 